Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to multiply using the box method. Now the box method is a different type of strategy for multiplying larger numbers. This method is similar to the traditional standard logarithm, but you'll notice that the setup is different, but what we're doing is essentially the same. The box method actually helps break down what is happening through the traditional standard logarithm, and it will show how and why things work. It will give a better overall understanding of multiplying larger numbers. In this video, I'm specifically going to be covering multiplying three-digit numbers by one-digit numbers. So let's jump into number one, where we have 252 times four. So at the top of the screen there, I have the steps that we're going to use here in order to solve these with the box method. And the first step is drawing the box. So in this particular example, we have a three digit number by a one digit number. So we're going to need to make it more of a rectangle here because three digits are going to go along the top and then our four is going to go along the side. So what I'm going to do is split this box into three sections because we have a three digit number here. So once we have our box drawn, we need to expand the factors. And what I mean by that, we're going to expand out and show the value of each uh, digit within our factors. So you may be thinking, well, what is a factor? The factors are the numbers we're multiplying together in order to get our answer, which is called the product. So 252 is a factor and four is a factor. So let's do 252 first, and we need to take a look at this two. So what is the value of that two? Well, its value is 200. Then we need to take a look at the value of the five, which is 50. So I'm expanding out to show the value of each digit. And then the last two here in the ones place is um, worth two or has a value of two. So that's expanding out to show the value of each digit. Um, and then our second factor is four here, which has a value of four. So just to recap, we did 252 along the top and then our second factor four, which is right here, we put along the side. So now we're ready to multiply. And we'll start with our four and the 200 there. So multiply four times 200. And we can do that using mental math by doing four times two here, which is eight. But we know the answer to four times 200 is not eight. We need our zeros here. So let's put our two zeros back on and that will push the eight to the correct place value, giving it a value of 800. So 200 times four is 800. Now we do four times this 50 here. So again, we can do four times five, which is 20, and then place our zero, which is right here, back on the end of that 20, and it will give us the correct answer of 200. So zeros are very important with the mental math aspect of some of these uh, multiplication problems. And then we end with four times two, which is eight. So to recap, we did four times 200, which is in this box, then four times 50, which is in this box here, and then four times two, which is eight. So once we have that, we drew our box, we expanded the factors, we multiplied, now we end with adding. So we take our three numbers, the 800 plus the 200 plus the eight, and that's going to give us our product. A product is an answer to a multiplication problem. So we have eight here, zero, and then eight plus two, which is 10. So 1,008. Now I wanna show you real quick how this box method is very similar to the traditional standard logarithm, which would be set up like this. So 252 times four. And the first thing we start with is four times this two here, which is eight. So that's very similar to the four times two we did in the box method. Then we do four times five, but really this five has a value of 50 just like in our box method where we did four times 50. So four times five gives us 
20, but really that's a 200 there because we did four times 50, which is 200, and we carry that two over to the hundreds place. And lastly, we do four times two, this two here, but really it's four times 200, just like we did in the box method. So four times two is eight, plus that two is 10. So we get the same answer, 1008. So let's move on to number two, where we have 786 times seven. So the first thing we need to do, we need to draw our box. And it's a three by one here, so we need, um, it's not going to be a perfect square because you need to think we have three digits that are going to be expanded out along the top by just one digit along the side. So our top there is going to be um, longer than the sides. So now we split our box into three sections because we have three digits here. All right, expand our factors. We have a 700. This seven here has a value of 700. Then we have the value of this eight, which is 80. And then the value of the six, which is six. Now along the side, we do the value of our second factor, which is just seven. Now we're ready to multiply. So seven times seven is 49. And we place our two zeros back on the end in order to push everything to the correct place value. So we have 4,900. I'll put a comma there. Now we have seven times 80. So seven times eight is 56. And we put our zero back on the end in order to push the five and the six to the correct place value and give us the correct answer there. And we end with seven times six, which is 42. So we are done multiplying and we are ready to move to our last step, which is add. And we're going to add all of our partial products. These are called partial products. They're part of that final product. And again, product is the answer to a multiplication problem. So I'll come over um, to the side here, plus 560 plus 42. So let's add these up and we get two in the ones place, zero in the tens, one plus nine is 10, plus five is 15, so five in the hundreds, and then we end with one plus four, which is five. So we get a final answer of 5,502. So there you have it. There's how you use the box method in order to multiply. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.